Hello, I'm John Lipsy, the Lexington Town Engineer, and I'm here to present the Battle Green Streetscape Improvements Project under Article 12N in hopes to secure funding to allow us to move forward with the project and complete in advance of the 250th anniversary of the Battle of Lexington, which is in the year 2025. The project is a continuation of the work that is being performed in the Center Streetscape project it will, and it will incorporate various elements identified within the Battle Green Master Plan. The limits of the proposed work is encompassed within and between the intersections of Mass Ave at Bedford Street at the Clark Street, Merriman Street limits of the Center Streetscape project, the intersection of Mass Ave at Harrington Road, in the intersection of Hancock, Bedford Street, and, ha and Harrington Road. The project goals are to improve the safety of pedestrians and bicycles, to improve vehicular safety, and of note, the Harrington, Hancock, Bedford Street intersection is the highest crash count intersection in Lexington and to improve the connectivity as well as the accessibility within the project limits. Connectivity points include improved access to the base of Belfry Hill and connectivity improvements to yield burying ground. Additionally, improved sidewalks and lighting will occur with specific decisions on materials to be made as the design process moves forward. The improvements at the three key intersections include improved accessibility, safer pedestrian and bicycle movements, and controlled vehicular speeds. The final aspects of the project include full roadway resurfacing and pavement marking installations. Highlights at the intersection of Mass Ave and at Bedford Street include shortened crossing times, as well as reduction of travel lanes needing to be crossed, landscape improvements, as well as access to the island in front of the statue, where tourists and residents often stand to take photos of the statue in the green, and fully accessible routes for all users, some of which are not currently compliant. Highlights of the Mass app at Harrington intersection include improved connectivity to ye old burying ground with increased green space at the roadside entrance. Teed intersection to slow vehicles exiting and entering both Mass Ave and Harrington Road. And added ADA accessibility at all crosswalks. As mentioned earlier, the Bedford Street, Harrington Road, Hancock Street intersection is the highest crash intersection in town. We've looked at 10 different intersections designs at this location, and most recently utilizing the latest design guidelines that MassDOT published in 2020, we have developed the roundabout design as shown on this slide. There are a number of highlights of this design, but first it is important to know that a roundabout is, is significantly different than a rotary. A rotary is very large and operates at high speeds, often approaching or exceeding 40 miles per hour, and they often have, allow for lane changes within the rotary. An example of a rotary would be the Route 2 rotary near the Concord Correctional Institute. A roundabout, on the other hand, which is what we are proposing here, is much smaller, and it controls vehicle speeds through deflection at the entry and exit points. Vehicles stay within one lane as they drive through a roundabout. A local example of a roundabout is on the Hancock Street uh, near the Diamond School entrance. The highlights of this design include a reduction of conflict points from the current intersection, which has approximately 50, down to eight conflict points under this design. Also a reduction of driver frustration under the current intersection due to delays, which results in drivers take, uh, attempting to take much smaller gaps in traffic, which in turn results in accidents. Driver frustration due to the lack of delays at a roundabout is reduced significantly. 
due to the deflection when utilizing a roundabout. And I'll demonstrate what I mean by deflection with this cursor. So drivers are forced to drive, take small turns to get around the circle. Uh, there's a natural slowing of vehicles down to 20 miles an hour. This 20 mile an hour speed is in concert with the posted speed limit and improves safety for all users, naturally creates gaps in traffic and reduces overall risk. Additionally, there's an overall added green space with this intersection design of several hundred additional square feet. Total funding request is made up of the cost to construct an estimated 10% for police details to assist with safety, traffic control, and pedestrian movements during construction, and full-time construction administration and inspection that covers full-time field inspections, shop drawing review, RFI responses to contractors, public information and outreach, as well as office support for design issues or design changes that arrive arise during the construction. The total request is four million nine hundred seventy five thousand. We are seeking full construction funding at this town meeting, and this will be followed by with some additional public process to fine tune design details, as well as selecting materials. The intent would be to get through those details by early fall and final plans and specs for bidding for late fall or early winter. Construction under this schedule would begin in the spring of calendar year 2023 after Patriot's Day and is expected to be mostly completed within one construction season with final finishing touches and punchless items completed in the spring of 2024 if needed. This will allow for work to be completed in time for 2025 for the 250th anniversary of the Battle of Lexington. I'll leave you with a rendering slide of the Harrington Road, Bedford Street, Hancock Street intersection. And I thank you for your consideration under Article 12A. Thank you.